anyways, honey, so the church is that we like Cynthia. So we're going to go over there and you can stay over there. Okay. So this is basically what's going on. Anyways, someone has gotten real comfortable giving their two piece of the pie and no one wants to hear their two piece of the pie because they come with so too much negativity. So anyways, that is where we are now. Anyway, someone keeps tempering with my phone when I'm recording, cutting off videos because they don't want information coming out. Honey, at this point, there's nothing you can do. The information is out there. So you're wasting your time. You are wasting your time. There's someone that does not want to hear something that's coming out. I don't know, I don't know if it's because a woman don't want to be with you. They don't want to be with you. They don't want to be with you. You're going to have to go figure that out. Go playing around on it. And it can't, it's not going to stop the message from coming out. The message got to come out. There is someone in here, a masculine, possibly this one right here. Because, honey, th that's who I see right here. I know that's this one. But there's a king of wands in here going through some type of loss. Because he partnered up with the wrong person. He had a situation. Uh, yeah, he partnered up with the wrong person and it led to an ending for him. Now he's upset out here. Don't want people talking about his financial situation. He don't lost a whole lot of money. What had happened was, spirit put you and someone in front of this masculine. You were business savvy. Maybe you were a little bit too young looking. Okay, he saw you. He said, yeah, 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 they're pretty. They're da -da 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 -da. But I don't think that's what's for me. But Spirit kept telling this person, hey, hey, go with the star seed. He didn't listen to his intuition. He decided to go on to the Jesse Bell, the gold digger. She take his money when he's in need. And that she did for sure. She took all his money. This brother don't went and invested in something with this woman and it didn't work out like it was never meant to work out. So, this is him now. Someone has been watching this channel and we told them to cut their loss a long time ago and walk away. Did he do it? No. No, 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 no. She manipulated him, played with his mental, played with his heart. Sister is good with words. Good with words and good with words. She played him like a tuba. She got her other friends involved too. She said, if I just pretend to be uh, an empress, if I just pretend to be business savvy, you know, I'll get on Google and Google a couple of things, you know, say a couple of nice things. He'll believe that I'm business savvy. And, you know, he fell for it. He thought he was investing in something worthwhile. Well, because he failed to listen to his intuition, which was shown to him, you were shown to this man. The truth was shown to him who you were. And he did not listen to his intuition. He said, I'm going to go somewhere else. He went somewhere else. He went somewhere else. We told him to cut his loss, remember? He didn't. He still participated. He partnered up with them. Source has taken everything from this man. He has lost everything. So someone is having to build from the ground back up. Now he's hoping he can come in and give you an offer with nothing. He don't got nothing to give you. Someone rejected you. Now that you're going through some type of loss, they want to come in now and give you an offer so you can rescue them. This is not Rescue Ranger. This is not Rescue Ranger. Collective, you are not the Rescue Ranger. Someone has a lesson to learn. Karma. He did not take heed to wisdom. Wisdom was given to someone and he rejected it. Now he wants to come back. He wants to come back to you. No, 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 no. This man here is down because he did not take heed to wisdom. He listened to some type of false person. Someone that pretended to be in the upright. That's part of the reason we have the justice card out here as well. Someone pretended to know what they were talking about. They pretended to be in the upright. They were for justice. They had his best interest at heart. Okay, they were the divine feminine, divine masculine. They were all that in a bag of chips. Mm. And he was sitting behind the scenes, more than likely working with this person and other people to tear you down. Gossip about you, all kinds of stuff. Now, honey, it is time for the piper to collect. And sure he did. The piper in this situation is God. God said, oh, oh, <laughs> you know what? You know that feminine, that Jesse Bill you chose over the star seed? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to let them undo you. Mm, and his mental is shaky, shaky right now. He said, don't talk about my finances. Sir, we got to get the message out. We have got to get the message out. 
We're just doing our job, collective, aren't we? Yes, we are. That man said, don't talk about, about my finances. It's a shaky, shaky topic for him. He's not worried about all the mess he done did to get himself stuck in this situation. He's worried about you hurting his feelings. Someone hasn't learned their lesson yet. So he wants to come towards you not to give you a love offer. Now he knows that you two are soul twins. Now he knows that you two are meant to be. But you belong to me. Nah, not anymore. That contract is a void. It's void. It is void. Okay? He's still out here trying to pour his little heart out. And you're still asking him, what does love got to do with it? He can't tell you. You can't tell him. Okay? You said, uh, love don't got nothing to do with this. You made your bed. Lay in it. You're going to have to lay in it. It looks like he is laying down. <clears throat> Bombastic side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. Someone has made your bed. And they have to lay in it. They cannot come in and give you an offer. You're not accepting an offer from this person. He's hoping that you will. Someone else wants to start a business with you. Now he sees you as the, bit, the the better option when it comes to business and loving it. Now he sees the truth. And you got that sword pulled out like, mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. Someone is trying to see also if you're still stuck in your mind. Maybe you weren't as awake before as you are down. So he thinks you're still in this thick. <laughs> but this is you, baby. When he comes, surprise. This is what's waiting for you. You might want to stay where you are. That's what's waiting for you. Someone is hoping that he can come and you two get together and build. Uh-uh. You don't already destroy a kingdom before. How can we trust you to build another one so you can destroy it some more? Uh-uh. No, 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 no. You're going to have to stay where you are. Find a way to keep it pushing. Because there ain't nobody eating with you. Goodbye, not our lover. You have not been the one. You have not been the one for us in this lifetime. Because, honey, as much as I'm joking around... You had a soul twin connection with this person, a contract with this person, but they forfeited a contract this lifetime. Again, to the Jizzy Bell. This man has been battling this same Jizzy Bell energy for many lifetimes. So, so you're the one. Uh, I've been one trying to figure out who it is that's been dealing with a Jizzy Bell energy for multiple lifetimes. It's him. Oh, there him go, there him go, there him is. He's still trying to come towards you, talking about, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. You know how when you get all amped up, the adrenaline is running to you, just going through you like, yeah, I'm ready. You are eager to start. I'm going for it. And sources that you can, I don't know where you're going, but um, that collective ain't looking for you. You made your choice in the past and you're going to have to stick to that decision. You went after lust instead of love. Mm. So you got to deal with these people. It's a fight behind the scenes. The karmics are fighting. The karmics are falling. You can't get up. Lots of emotions rain deep. They said, oh, that's what you guys were doing to me. I thought we were friends. And you know, honor amongst thieves. Oh, everybody only care about themselves. They only care about themselves. It is what it is. You know, that's an unspoken rule amongst thieves. They only care about themselves. Telling you, this contract is over. It ain't coming together. Someone's trying to stay hopeful. Yeah. <laughs> With this strength here and this here, he's trying to stay hopeful. But his friends are still causing, his families are still causing a stalemate. And he helped them because he was working with them in the beginning. Oh, yeah. He was all up in there. He got all up in there. This is him still wanting to come towards you. You can't do it. Got to move on. Yeah, you're strong. You're, you're, I mean, you're stuck where you are. You are where you belong for the rest of this lifetime until you take a different path. Maybe go heal and go on to another woman. But wherever you partook in, that is your final destination. You have arrived at your final destination. You went and got on the train to Bazan. Oh, baby, and it is difficult. Difficult. You know how you know you know how these quotes and I'm telling you it's difficult. This girl have have her sword pulled out. She don't shh, this man and he's down. Mm. She said, I told you to stay away from me. And you're still trying to force it. You're still trying to force it. Every time I try to do something, you're out here trying to block me because I don't want you. Oh, this sister out here is savage. Savage. 
She says, stay away from me. I stay away from me. Mm, I'm too busy focusing on my dreams. Listen, let me quit playing around. Whoever this sister is, uh-uh. She is not to be played with. She said no, because she knows exactly who you are. You're a thief. You stole somebody's future. You blocked somebody's future. And while you were sitting, this is <laughs> this is the thing. These people, some people are so hateful in life. Some people, some people are so malicious in life. That they don't realize why they're trying to destroy you. God is just sitting back and watching them like, okay. As long as you know, I'm going to get the last laugh. I'm going to let you carry this out. Someone was sitting behind. I, I had a vision of a man that sits behind a computer, like a laptop. I think it's like a silver laptop. Not very big. Mm -hmm. It's like an average size laptop. Sits behind there. Just a watching someone doing a whole bunch of stuff, invading people's privacy and things like that. This is a black man too. There are actually a couple of men that do this. One is a Caucasian man, average height. Always has some type of smirk on his face. He's so bitter in life. He don't even know what to do with himself. So he goes around messing with other people. He's not just messing with you collective. He does this to other people from behind the scenes. Even people he's working with. He's fooling, fooling around with their information. And then you have... I don't know if this is an ex, a brother, or someone that logs into their phones. That's the funny part, honey. So it's just be giving me everything on these people. There's like an ex or someone, either a woman or man, that logs into all of these people's phones. Guy, the, the, someone is very good at hacking. At hacking. And he or she is in everybody's phone. Just uh, getting their information, blocking communications, and all kinds of stuff. And they're more focused on you. Meanwhile, there's a whole hacker amongst them. Anyways, there's a man, either this one here, that sits and watch someone on his computer. Yes, 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 yes. He went from laughing, getting a good belly laugh out of playing with either your information, pretending to do you something. I don't know what this is stalking someone playing around in your computers too your phones is that like you sit down and do something on your computer you come back and the screen has changed because they want to get some type of feeling or some type of uh anxiety out of you some type of reaction but you don't give it someone has been doing this for a long time when he started oh he was laughing he used to get a good belly laugh i used to see this man and, and maybe this has to do with me i don't know but I used to see a black man sitting behind a computer. A few times I had this vision. Laughing. And while he was laughing, doing something to someone, he would be, he, he, he still has some type of eerie attraction to you. Someone became very obsessed with you. Whoever you are. He became very obsessed. Obsessed? His obsession became a full-time job. He said, it's my job to steal from you, block you, undercut you. Uh-huh. And, and I'm going to get away with it. No, you're not. That's what landed him here. Source was sitting back watching someone undo themselves. And he said, I'm going to let you do this for as long as you want. And then at some point, I will reveal to you that, hey, that's your, that's your twin flame you're doing that to. You have a contract with this person. This person never had any ill intent for you. So everything you've been doing, yeah, that's why this uh, 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 justice is here in the reverse as well. Because he had a hand in destroying his own future. Didn't know it, didn't find out till it was too late. And now someone is angry behind the scenes, pissed off. Got nobody but themselves to blame. Because what? He failed to listen to his intuition. He failed. Yeah, he didn't pay attention to the clues, to the details. He didn't pay attention. He was just real happy to be causing you some type of misery. But he didn't realize Source was using that, that time, that experience to strengthen you. To grow you up and things like that. I'm telling you, Source was using that time to elevate you. And he was sitting there laughing while destroying your work. Destroying your character, slandering your name, gossiping about you. These are the types of men that are sitting and gossip about women. And Sora said, I got a good one for you at the end. <laughs> Keep on. <laughs> I got a good one for you. A real good one. 
and it got to a point where so told him, hey, yeah, that's your twin flame. That's your higher level soulmate. That's your soulmate. You and that girl, that boy, that whoever that is, that woman right there you've been destroying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and them have been incarnating together for lifetimes after lifetimes after lifetimes. And you have a juicy bell problem. You have a mental problem with seeing straight or listening to your intuition. And just there's been a few lifetimes, three or four of them, that you've let them down and you've let yourself down, took the wrong path. Pour it into the wrong person and they always betray you. It's the same woman you've been dealing with. Mm-hmm. It's in Jesse Bell. So now a brother don't know what to do with himself. He's uh, 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 he's out here in distress looking for help. Ain't nobody around to help because everybody around him is disingenuous. They don't have his best interests at heart. Spirits was, spirit was sitting back just watching. He said, oh, this is going to be good. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Core this in session. Y'all ready? It's time for the big reveal. Bum, 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 bum. Your empress. Yeah, you've been destroying your empress. Ooh, baby, I'm telling you. You saw that start. I mean, uh, uh not the not the cup. Yeah, this this card here when I split, they show him the truth. They said this is this person actual energy. I know they told you they were in the reverse and all of that, careless and reckless with themselves. That ain't none of that. That ain't what it is. Okay, we already showed you who this person was. They were the truth. They were genuine, right? Authentic. We showed you all of that. But you were vain and you decided not to listen to your intuition. You walked away from them to go end up with a mentally unstable person. Trying to make you think that they're your soulmate. That they're not. Uh. Ooh, the clarity, the clarity. Everything is being exposed. And he's burning behind the scenes. Yeah, baby, he's in distress. He's in distress. Someone feels trapped where they are. He wants to go and be free. He can't. He's trapped because he don't fumble his finances. You know how those football players be fumbling the, the ball? Yeah, someone fumbled their empress and their finances. His empire that he built is all crumbling down because he went after lust instead of love. He went after uh, addictions instead of healing and fulfillment. And Sora said, yeah, okay, yeah, he went after this instead of this. I'll tell you a joke, but I won't tell you a lie. I will not tell you a lie, okay? Someone's learning a lesson the hard way, I'm telling you, and it just keeps getting worse and worse for him. Mm. The whole time, he was laughing. He said, he, he said, I got it, I got it, I got it. Yeah, and he decided to. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, baby. You know, you see how Source is doing it? Source is just be humbling people out here. He said, I'm going to let you undo yourself, all your manipulations and things you're doing. And you think you're the man of the world. You're the king of the jungle. You know everything. You don't got nothing to learn. You think because you got a little bit of money that you're invincible. So I'm going to take it all from you. Okay. And this Queen of Cups that you've been trying to destroy, they get to move on. They get to move on. I, I said, I've been seeing this man. I've seen him a few times. And I'm like, why do I keep seeing this man in my, in my visions? And he's just sitting at that computer. This man spends a lot of time at the computer. Just a watching and watching. And just a, so many pages. Just I'm like, why are these pages open on this man's computer? Oh, a brother is a hacker. A brother is misusing his access. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Misusing. This, this could be a whole emperor in his king of wands energy. Toxic as can be. Karmic as can be. Controlling. Wants to have control over you, but he can't. You know, moves on. It's a couple of emperors in here. Mm -hmm. Now he wants to come in and, and communicate with you. Yeah, oh, baby. He wants to communicate with you. Uh, listen, I will tell you all a joke, but I won't tell you a lie. This man is stuck in something, trying to find a way out, so he wants to communicate with you now. Now he wants to come in and tell you the truth. Now he knows you are his soul twin. He said, you know what? Uh, I now know the truth. That you and I were meant to be, uh, yeah, not in this lifetime. Yeah, the contract is void this lifetime, so you're going to have to figure that out. We ain't coming back to you. 
if this is an ex, we ain't coming back to you. Nothing. Y'all know I don't advocate exes on this platform. Because it's not in our fiber to be going backwards. There's an aspect of me that just feel like when you go back to your ex, you're diminishing your, your worth. Mm. Yes. Invest in yourself, in your time, in your higher learning. Invest in those things and secure yourself. Be vigilant of the people coming in your energy. Because some of you are, supposed, are about to be prospering in life. And these people are coming back to come and hinder you. So make sure you are secure. Be vigilant as possible, as much as possible. Someone is down, they're out in the cold, losing everything because of lust. Because they've been out here giving their don't want to everybody. Got in a relationship with some loose woman. I don't know if this is the couple that's into everything. When I said twacasting, she said we know this. I don't know. Whatever this is. I just know someone is flat out. And this is karma. This brother is having a hard day, hard week, hard month, hard year for a long time. All of them, not just him, all of them. All of them, all of them. Spirit is not playing with these people. He ain't playing with these people. Everybody is being held accountable. I'm telling you, everybody. They were celebrating. Oh, we've blocked them from coming together. Oh, we've blocked them from coming together. And now they're living in fear because this was a short-lived victory. It was a short-lived victory. Mm-hmm. There are people in this group now that are going within to see things for what they are. There are people in this group that now see things for what they are. This community is starting to wake the heck up. Someone is not able to cause illusions anymore. People are seeing the truth. That you've been lying to us this whole time. Or some of them, oh, we can't stop this person. We've been causing stagnation forever and they're still moving forward. Looks like these two people are still coming together because source has deemed it so. And some of you don't even care about coming together with your higher level soulmate because too much is being revealed to you. You already know they're toxic as heck. Not the higher level soulmate, but your actual soul soulmate, your, your twin flame, soul twin, whatever we want to call them. You're like, mm, I'm good on that one. I'm good. I'm not trying to be out here babysitting people. I don't want to be babysitting people. Yeah, I'm telling you, you said I'm too huge for this. You know how we be saying I'm too old for this? Yeah, you said I'm too huge for this. I can't do it. He's going to have to figure it out. Yeah, baby, you said you're too huge. You know a little bit too much. So you feel like you'll be settling, settling for less. If you, mm-hmm, telling you, you know a little bit too much. You you, you rose above the, 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 the nonsense, the madness these people were doing. You said, mm-mm, mm-mm. Maybe another lifetime? Yeah, honey. I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. Maybe another lifetime. And while they've been trying to end you, you've been healing behind closed doors and making sure that you're focusing on that, listening to spirit, taking action when they tell you to. You got someone, people out here still paying other people to do you something. There's someone that likes to be in control. Someone thinks their purpose on this planet is to control someone else or other people. And it's not. There's a narcissist in here. And he's still out here. She's still out here trying to pay people to end you. To end you. It don't make sense. It does not make sense. Ooh, it don't make sense. Someone found out you're an empress. Someone's mother or ex-wife has been participating in madness. Lord, it's just too much. These people be wearing me out. I feel like I gotta start cutting my video to 30 minutes because these people just be wearing me out. At the end of the read, I'm like, oh, I have got to go and eat some vegetables, drink some water, do something, eat some plain rice or something. Because, honey, mm -mm. these people in their energy is just too much. Too much. I'm telling you, too much. Some, there, there is some level of stupidity. In it. Someone is going through a tower but still trying to collect donations to go and do someone something. What in the world is this 
kind of mindset? What is this? I gotta hurry up and end this reading and get out of this. I'm listening, and it's not leading to nothing good for them. It's not leading to anything good for them at all. I gotta hurry up and get up out of this reading. Someone has been doing too much behind the scenes. Trying to force things to go in their way, and it's not. Even if these two people don't come together, that man, that woman is not staying with you. They're still moving on to someone else. Okay, they're still moving on to someone else. This man had a lesson to learn. He had a lesson to learn. So maybe this lifetime, he's not going to get with his uh, twin, but he's going to learn how to get away from this Jesse Bell so he can actually ascend. That's, that, that, I guess that's his. That's one of his uh, karma in his lifetime to learn how to not get tricked by this Jizzy Bell. And after this lifetime that he's learned this lesson, they're going to try him one more time in another lifetime, maybe the next one. And if he can overcome that, then yes, 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 yes. He has finally defeated this woman. Someone has been dealing with the same Jizzy Bell energy for lifetime after lifetime after lifetime at lifetime and it's not funny anymore his soul is tired his soul is tired and it happens every lifetime he'll meet you and you'll cause some type of awakening in him and then he'll relapse because the Jesse Bell comes in and undo that awakening and then he ends up in the karmic cycle with them and they just keep going on and on until he loses everything. Sometimes loses his mind. So this lifetime, hopefully he makes the right decision. But with the choices he's making right here, I don't see no hope for him. It looks like it may be another lifetime of Jesse Bell Lean for him. He may want to go try and go through some type of metamorphosis. Some type of ascension. Because, who, baby, this is sad. Yeah, you need to clear your mind. Your mind is clutter. It's a cl uh, clear clutter. Clutter. I'm, excuse me. Make room for clarity and peace in your space. That's why your mind is upside down. Your intuition up here, you're not listening to it. Because there's too many people's intuition involved in your head. You're listening to too many people. Your intuition is not the only one you're listening to. You got John, Henry, Mary, Linda, Sally, everybody's intuition words are in there. You don't even know your own voice. You don't even know your own voice. You're still out here looking for validation from our outside forces. And it doesn't matter, man or woman. We all struggle with this. But you got to grow up. You're still looking for validation. This is one of the men that validates himself through the material things he has. Through the material things he has. And someone worked really hard to get to where they were. As vain as he is, he worked hard to get to where he was. But his mind, his mind is shaky, shaky. Very shaky, shaky. Now he has a lot of love for you, but you, he can't have you. So someone's karma... Is going to be them sitting and watching you be with someone else. Oh, baby, the burden. The burden. The bur Someone's going to be burdened for a long time. Even if they heal and move on to get with someone else, they're always going to be remembering you as the one that got away. Okay, you're the one that got away. But you know what, though? He'll learn how to trust his intuition by then. He'll learn how to trust his intuition. You have people out here lying about someone's commitment to their work. You have someone trying to temper with someone's work. Like you do your work and they go and undo it and then say you don't know what you're doing. Someone is doing something like that behind the scenes. Someone is tempering with a lot behind the scenes. And it's all out there. Yeah, there's some type of injustice. I always look at my first car and the last car and see, try to see what is what it means. There's some type of injustice that's going on in a business with someone's work 
And this is not something be being done by the Most High. This is someone, a human, interfering with balance being brought into a situation. And Lord, the type of humbling this person is about to be going through, <laughs> words alone cannot even describe it. Can't describe it. These people are about to be falling like roaches. Falling like roaches. Family members falling like roaches. Someone is a brute. They pay, there's a thief that wants to force something to go in their way and they pay someone that's a brute to temper with you. They want to hinder your commitment. They say, oh, you want to invest in your future, build yourself a, a, build a business, a life? We're going to keep blocking you. We're going to keep interfering with your forward movement. And you're not paying them any mind. You're still not paying them any mind. You're ignoring these people. You're ignoring these people. You're, you're a master now. You're a master. So this is like a bunch of kindergartners coming after a master. So everything they're doing is just, oh my Lord, these children need to settle down. What do you say to your kids when they're being crazy in the house, jumping around, you're trying to get yourself a nap or get some work done? Settle down. Basically, you're looking at them like, oh my goodness, these kids need to settle down. I'm trying to get some work done. And he's smack dag in the middle. This is all surrounding him. The family went from blocking you to, well, you know, they got him to block himself too. And it's, isn't that, like, it's kind of brilliant how sometimes karmics work. They get you to destroy your own future so you can't have anyone to blame. He's pissed off at these people for getting him involved in this, but who can he blame? Your mind is your mind alone. You let greed lead you astray. Lust. Someone gives their backpack their instrument easily to everybody. Don't got no self-worth. Look at my validation out here. It said, I am a business owner. I have money. And you know those vain little girls out here, they, he has money. I got a Gucci, I got a porch, I have a mansion. And that mansion is so silent, it's silent night in that mansion, miserable in that mansion by himself. Miserable. Someone is miserable in his life. But he walks out like everything is okay. It's not okay. He's hurting. Ain't nobody around him that gives a two hits about him. They've all used him for what they needed out of him. Now he's looking for a genuine friend and a friend in sight. Twice the night before the awakening. Not a, not a, uh, what is it? Not a star see was in sight. Mm, 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 mm. You see how the, how the universe works? They'll let you undo yourself. You think you're destroying someone's future. Now you're out here going through a hard lesson. No one to turn to, no one to blame. And now someone is letting that bitterness get to them. So they're still investing in destroying you. Say, if I can't have you, no one can have you. Oh, that's not true, honey. Oh, source don't mind taking you out to make sure someone fulfills their purpose. Oh, honey. I'm telling you, stores don't mind taking you out for someone to fulfill their purpose. It says no regret, no regrets. So stores don't feel any which way about it. They're not gonna feel any way about taking you out so someone can fulfill their purpose at all. Because there's a worthy goal. That's what this card says. Worthy goal. That means someone has a high calling on their life. And since you forfeited your end of the contract, oh, honey, come on now. You know what it is. Yeah, you got toxic ties. Oh, my gosh. These cards are just, just telling your business. Telling your business. You came out here and stew on karmic business. And you got someone else standing on spiritual business. And you think you're about to end them because you can't get your wish? No, 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 no. Uh, 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 uh. So I said, no, 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 buddy. No, 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 buddy. No, 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 no. 
It's a quiet moment. This is what you should have done. When you were in this state the first time and you were losing money left and right, and you had, you, you started with 100,000, you lost 50,000, you should have stopped. You said, hold on. Mm -mm. Something in the right and I adding up. You should have done some introspection. Your head was already down. You should have paid attention to what you had in front of you left. What you have left in front of you, excuse me. And cut your loss and move on. That's what you were advised to do. But you stay to destroy someone. Trying to manifest an ending for someone. And that person won't pay you no mind. Look at you. Focus on what you can take from someone else. And you thought you were going to have victory. So you need to go in. You keep trying to destroy this person and it's not working. You need to go in and see why. And they said, and da -da -da -da, it's time for the big review, Mr. Wands. Mr. Wands, we would like your attention for three seconds, please. We have a big review for you. You know that person you've been trying to destroy? Yes, 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 Mr. Wand. That is your soul twin. Oh, Someone told you your soul twin was toxic, so you could choose him. You listened. Someone told you your soul twin was vain, so you could choose him. You listened. Someone got a whole group of people to help manipulate you. And they worked you like a tuba. They worked you like a flute. Or oh, there's a lava all over your body. Oh, there's negativity all up in your head. Honey, that's too much. I'm getting too much on you, so I'm going to cut it out. Say, trust yourself. Mm. Mr. Wands. Okay. Trust yourself. Let your intuition be the uh, compass that leads you through murky waters. Go your own way. Oh, that sums up what I said. This contract is void. But you, sir, are going to have to take charge of your destiny and heal from the things that are holding you back. All those toxic soul ties. You form with all of these people in this song. You're going to have to heal those. Break those soul ties. And the easiest way to break these soul ties is to forgive. So you're going to have to find it in your heart, in your mind, in your life. To forgive these people and yourself. Just like the person you destroy and forgive you so they can move on with your life. Because they understand that's what you need to do in order to ascend. Not hold on to grudges. So while you've been busy trying to destroy a person, one, they've been living in this energy, even though at times they maybe they didn't even have a reason to be in this energy. They just knew this is the energy I'm meant to be in. So you're going to have to find your strength to forgive. Let's see if you can do that. Quiet moments. Seek solace in the silence where clarity finds its true voice. Hear what's unsaid. You have too many voices in your head and you need to learn how to tune them out. You have too many. I see some more, a lot of people just coming to you every day, calling you, texting you, emailing you, coming into your space physically to talk to you. And they do that on purpose, by the way. They don't want you to self-actualize. You're supposed to be self-actualizing, but they don't want you to do it. They come to you with their problems. Uh-huh. They come to you with their problems. You're more focused on their problems instead of yours. But this is what you need to do. Self-actualize so you can ascend. That's what you're supposed to do. Leave those people out in the cold. Leave them out there. You're, you too, honey, you're a people pleaser. That's what I'm getting. You all stay blessed. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. And goodbye for now, lovely folks.